I am going to open up a file called jobstest.txt for reading, and it's located in this location, this subdrive and subdirectory. Now, if I start a an empty an empty um, dictionary called D for each line in the file that I open. X equals, now grab a line, split it up at the comma, assign the two parts to X. What two parts? These two parts. But we have a problem. On the end of each line is a backslash N. It's invisible. We don't see it in text files, but it's there. Uh-oh, what do we do? Well, we grab the line, we split it at the comma, assign the two parts to x. The first, the zeroth part goes to a, the oneth part goes to b. Now b is equal to d, square brackets a. That will put it into the dictionary. That'll map the two guys together. In the dictionary, it'll map Gary colon teacher, Bill colon policeman, Sam colon bartender, Mary colon politician, Susie colon scientist, which are also going to see the backslash n. And that's a problem. Let's save this file, file save. Let's run this program. See how we solve this. Key in D. And, whoops, and enter. There we go. Bill colon. Policeman backslash N, single quotes. Susie, scientist, backslash N. Gary, teacher, backslash N. Mary, politician, backslash N. Big problem. How do we solve this? Well, back we go. Not to here, but to our solution. Here is our solution. We start here. We say we open the file, jobs text, jobs test.txt for reading, and of course it's located here. We start our dictionary. For each line in the file, do the following split the line at the comma, assign the two parts to x. The zeroth part goes to a, the oneth part goes to b. But now we get clever. We need to see this file. Now, the length. Now, here's A, which we're not interested in right now. Here's B, which we are interested in. This backslash N, that is considered one character in the language. So, take the length of B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those two characters are one character, eight. Minus one, that's seven. Assign that to C. Okay. okay. Now what? Now, go to B. All right, I'm there. B, starting at zero. Grab the slice up to C. Now, that was what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, minus 1, that's 7. So starting at 0, I go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7. Oops, but that means don't include 7. From 0 up to, but not including the cth character, the 7th character in this case. So I get my guy, teacher. And now I assign that back to B. Ah. Oh. And then I can, I assign B to D, square brackets, A, square brackets. That'll give me the A colon, B colon format in the dictionary. Really? Yeah. Let's save this. Let's run this file. See what happens. Run the module. Oh, invalid syntax. What did I do? I did something very naughty. What did I do? One, two, three, one, two, three. How about these comments? Oh, 
I'll put a pound sign here. That shouldn't be the problem. All right. Everything else looks good. Save it again. File. Save. And then run the program. Run module. Oh, okay, that was it. I key in D. And enter. And what do I get? Sam, bartender, Mary, politician, Bill, policeman. The backslash ends are gone. Susie, scientist, Gary, teacher. All is wonderful. Wow. That was exciting. Wow. So, this is George Bull signing off. Bye-bye now.